Three years ago, former NPA director Mokote Dimpshe halted President Zuma's prosecution on fraud and corruption charges. He cited political interference. At the time, Mshe pointed to telephone recordings between former NPA head Bulelani Njunga and former head of the Directorate of Special Operations, Leonard McCarthy. In the recordings, the Another two were allegedly man. discussing the timing of recharging Zuma. The DA's first attempt to reverse Mshe's decision was rejected by the North Gauteng High Court. We are saying nobody's above the law and that's what the Constitution of South Africa says and we're going to court to enforce that principle. The presidency is opposing the case. Among other things, it believes the DA is trying to score political points. The matter is in court. It is unfortunately or fortunately being brought by an opposition party and therefore you, anyone, uh, should say there's some political motivation uh, behind it. But it is put within a legal framework. So the question is whether it stands on strong legal uh, uh, grounds. The NPA is confident its case is watertight. We will strongly argue that the earlier judgment by the North Houghton High Court should stand or be confirmed by the Supreme Court of Appeal and that the appeal should not succeed. We hope that uh, that's how the proceedings will unfold and at the end of the day um, the judgment by the judges of the SCA will be in our favour. The Supreme Court of Appeal will hear arguments tomorrow morning. Yoli Sanjamela, SABC News in Bloemfontein.